What is up, guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Aska, where we play a Viking warrior that has been shipwrecked on a strange new land who must survive and thrive while building an amazing colony, a new tribe of Vikings. Let's take a look at what we did here. Uh, we have quite a bit going on. Let me zoom out a little bit. We can see. So we got a bunch of new settlers, I believe. Let me pull up the UI here. Looking in the upper right-hand corner next to the mini-map, we have seven villagers. We have lots of these new uh, cottages built. I think we have one bed space left. We got a bunch of Uten blood here. We have some guard towers. We got a bunch of people running around. We got the logging pit here. We have the, the barracks. Nobody's assigned there yet. We have the archery range right here. This is the little pit where they can take a break and their time off. We have my house. We can... Oh, it's starting to rain. Let's go inside here really quick. This is my cottage. I can store some tools. We got an outfit rack. My bed. Fireplace in there as well. We have the healing hut down here by this willow. We have a cottage here that was just built. I don't believe anybody is currently living here yet. We have this cottage here. Another one here. One here. And one right back here. This is where my guards have been staying. I did discover kind of how to level some land after it's been built up to make it easier to climb. I have a guard tower up here as well. Let's actually put a roof on this one. There goes somebody. I think he's my stone mason. Push T. I want to put a roof on this guy. There we go. Now my builder will get to work. I saw him sitting down there. Floki is his name. This is the stone mason's hut, the stone cutter's hut. We do have a warehouse. Warehouse has got a cooked food storage, uh, small crafting seeds. We have stick storage. We have resin, firewood, uh, raw food, and then the meat hunks hanger. We have a hunter's cabin where we have a hunter that goes out and finds us some food. We have the gatherer's hut here. And he goes out and finds us food as well. There goes my watchman. He must be getting late. Yeah, it's 617 at night. I have a log cutter's cabin again. We also have the uh, work workshop hut, hut here. And down here we have the coal maker. I built this because I'm kind of stuck, honestly. Oh, hi. Let me see. Uh, oh. Hi. <laughs> A little late, but that's alright. So as you can see here, we have survived for five days. If you look again up in the upper right hand corner. Uh, and... I've put maybe 15 hours into this build already. So let's pull up the map. This is the area I have explored so far. Our shipwreck is down here where we started. Here's the Eye of Odin. We click on this. You can see all the markers I've placed around for all of our food foraging, our hunter, our... Uh, everything, everything that the workers need to go do. What I just recently started doing, let me get out of this, is placing the markers for the, our, our security. A lot of our settlers do not feel safe, and that's a big problem. I want them to feel safe and secure living here. So let's push the tab key. If you look in the upper left-hand corner, it says tab settlement issues. We'll click that, and 26% of your structures are defenseless. That's not okay. And two of my villagers are unhappy. We'll click on that. 
It didn't do anything. So we got it sorted by happiness. We can see here our builder is unhappy. He's down to 44. And our woodcutter is unhappy as well. And I'm guessing it's the work hours and the security. I'm, I'm guessing here. So let's see what the builder is. Yeah, it's work hours. So speaking of hours, you can see here kind of their hours, how they're set. They have several hours where they work, take a break, work, take a break, sleep, take a break, work, take a break. The, you have to put this little break in there so they can get water, get food, and that sort of thing. So, and then here's my night crew. Uh, they work through the night. They, they are guarding. This girl here, she is running the, uh, the markers that I have spaced around. She basically runs around the encampment all the way down to the ocean just looking for trouble and then she'll spend an hour at the archery range honing her skills I need to get more people here to uh, help guard so that's what we're gonna do right now we're going to take a bunch of these put them in the eye of Odin and activate that so I am looking for... Ooh, he's got the green thumb. He might be a good... He might make a good... Rolf might make a good uh, farmer. But I'm looking for a warrior. Um, and it's okay that he's a feeble logger. But he's not going to be a logger. I need him as a warrior. And he's got steadfast resolve. So I'm going to take Rune. And I'm going to put him to work as a... Um, as a guard. I might put him... Well, I'm going to put him on the ground. I'm going to put him with the uh, barracks. We need to make some tools. Let's see. I was making these clubs. I want to arm everybody. Let's see what else we can make here. Scroll down. Longbow. What do we need for that? Wood shaft. Yeah, so I was mentioning I kind of got stuck. We need the carpenter shop. I'm not sure how to find the carpenter shop. We'll talk about that here in just a second. So, uh, can we make these? Nope, can't make those yet. Can we make more of these clubs? Nope, we need more bones, more sticks. So that's okay. So, if I pull up the, the build menu here, and I come over to basic production, there's nothing in here that indicates a carpenter shop. You might be wondering why I need a carpenter shop. Well, I need a carpenter shop so I can build the next thing. Uh, cooking house. I might be able to make a cooking house. But that's why I made the coal maker, because I thought maybe the coal maker would be like the next thing for making a carpenter shop. Where was that? One of the other things we can do is we can make... Hi. Yeah, I'm going to make this raven altar. Uh, a lot of my people are upset because they don't have religious idols and, and that sort of thing. So I'm going to make this really quick here. Where to put it, though? We're going to put it down here by the healing hut. Just to kind of get it out of the way. Hopefully it'll make him happy. We'll place that there. My builder will come build that. In a little bit. Oh yeah, I gotta talk about the cave entrance here too. Fisherman's hut. We need to build one of those down in the water. Um, bloomery. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, yeah, this is, we need iron ore, coal, and stuff like that for this. We have coal. I made coal. Oop. Let's see. Housing. We have cottages. Oh, you know what? That's what we need to do. We need to make a sled or a cart. Uh, must build carpenter. Let's build a sled. And maybe this will help, like, people move stuff. I'm not sure. But we'll we'll have it built, be built right there. So, my builder, again, he'll start building that here pretty soon. As soon as he's back on shift, anyway. Wow, look at this. So I was just looking at the 
this, and it's a thatched bed. This structure must be placed indoors. Can I build this inside these huts? These these cottages only sleep two two people. I'm coming over this one first. This is cottage number one. So there's lots of space in here, and I was wondering about this. Like there there's so much space in here for two people, and this is a lot of materials in here. It takes a lot to build. We need to get rid of this hoe as well. <laughs> Let's. There we go. So can I build? Where was that? It's under furniture, thatched bed. Look at this. <gasps> oh my goodness. We can have more people inside these cottages. Oh yeah. Guess what we're going to do. We're going to get so many people now. This was the thing that was keeping me from bringing a bunch of people here. Was not having beds for them. Where was that? It was here. Thatched bed. Can we build another one here? We can. Look at that. Looks like maybe. How many people can we fit in here? Um, this one. Build. Push the L key. That's your last. What? Oh, no, 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 no. I pushed the wrong button. I'm sorry. Wake up. Can we put some down the middle? We can. How many beds is that? One, two, three. Oop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people in here. What? Eight people for one cottage? That's a lot better. Oh my goodness. Yes, we need that. We need more Uten blood. We're gonna. This thing is not gonna stop running. We need so many people. Hi. He's my gatherer. He complains that he doesn't have enough markers. So I have one, two, three, four, five cottages. Each can hold. We can have 40 people here. 41 counting me. Now, obviously, we don't have enough food for that, but, yeah. <laughs> wow, I, that, wow, that is so cool. Let's see, what else we need to build? We need to build the cave. Let's talk about the cave entrance really quick. We click on this, it must be placed at the entrance of a cave. It allows you to go inside and explore it. So if we build it, we can't build it anywhere. It's got to be next to a cave, right? So, get rid of that. I found a cave. Where was that cave? It's up here. Unexplored cave. Let's head there because this doesn't look like a cave. There we go. Head this way. It's getting dark. And YouTube, I, I do apologize. YouTube makes dark things way dark oh hang on we just got our our new guy and we need to put more mutant blood in here and i'm gonna set this rune guy to work immediately one two three four five activate so we want him confirm so where's my new guy His name is Rune. He's probably running around building things. Because he is effectively a builder at this point. That's Floki. Are you thank you, Floki, for lighting those. This looks like it's my guard. Yep. So we need to have a guard during the guards. We need to have more than one during the night and during the day. So, where is Floki? Let's see. We'll go into here. Builder homeless. Here we go. I want to turn him on the map. 
so I can find Floki. Or not Floki. Rune. That rune? Nope, that's not rune. Rune's over here building things. Hey, rune. So, I'm going to make you... Actually, let's come up here before we do anything with them. We will take a club. We're going to give it to him here in just a second. We're going to assign him to this place. Our, uh, we're going to assign him there. Add task. Add patrol point. Barracks. He's going to train at this building for one hour. Confirm. Add patrol point. Patrol marker. I want him to con walk to every single patrol marker we have. Here at night. But I don't want him to wait at these patrol markers. Oop. I don't want him to wait there. I want him to train for an hour at the barracks. But that's it. So... There we go. Create. Give him the club. There we go. Make sure that that actually took here. Sometimes I found that the task, okay, yeah, it actually saved. Perfect. Now I'm going to assign him a house. And this one that's down here was just built. There shouldn't be anybody in it, but I kind of want him in with the rest of the other two. But we don't have beds in there, so that's okay. We'll put him down here. Doesn't re really matter where he sleeps, he just needs to have a bed. Oh, there we go. We'll manage the house. We'll assign him that house. Oh, that's okay. We'll have him on day shift. Uh, uh, let's actually go into his... We'll actually go into his schedule really quick. Here, here it is right here. So I haven't made a day shift uh, preset yet. So we're going to have him... Let's see. I want him to do that. There we go. Yes. Oops. I want to save that. Create. I'm going to say... Uh, guard day. Save. So I do have some presets, presets. And they don't make any sense. So I have schedule preset. Schedule preset 1. Guards. Worker. Guard day. So, uh, but they make sense to me when I look at their schedule. That's really bad, I know, um, and I do apologize. But, like, for example, here's my builder's schedule. He's on schedule one, I think. Um, and that's just ba a basic day schedule. And that's pretty much the same schedule everybody's on, except for my night guards, the night shift. Again, I have now eight people, almost nine. So, it is what it is. Um, we do need to get another guard archer for this tower over here. There's nobody in that tower. So, anyway, let's go take a look at this cave. I'm getting thirsty. Let's take a drink of water. I'm still very much a collector here. I like to collect things when I see them. Especially flax. Flax is a big one. Here we go. Here's some flax right here. Okay, so I found this cave, and I'm putting that in air quotes, because this is a solid rock. <laughs> there, it, It's not a cave at all, and when I first saw it, when it first said, you found a cave, I'm like, where? How do I get in? I don't understand. And then I saw the cave entrance. You have to build 
an entrance to this cave. But I don't know why. Like, I don't understand what it is. And I'm very hesitant to do it. Only because I can't really spare the people. Do I bring people to go inside the cave with me? Like, I don't... I don't know. The only thing to do is to do it. But I don't know if I'm ready to do it yet. If that makes sense. So, let us... I'm going to pick up a few more things here. Some garlic. I'm actually going to take this Uten blood stone right here. Oh, no. Okay. I broke my stone axe. I got to build another one. And I, I'm guessing I don't have... I know I don't have the things to do it. Because um, that is going to be back at the workshop to build the two-handed thing. So let's see. Let Should we do it? Build the cave entrance? Yeah. Might as well. I'll have my, my worker will come out here. I'm not going to pen it, though. Let's... We need to get back to, to camp. Uh, we're going to pen... Why is my marker out? I'm not even sure where my marker is. There we go. We're going to pen the other things first. Ooh, carrot. And then he'll come out here and build that when he can. Might throw some sticks and some rope at it. Yeah, so it needs it needs a few things here. Let's we can we can throw make some rope really quick and put a bunch of rope to it. We'll we'll do that. have my builder build the rest of it. Okay, I need a stone pickaxe, so we need to get back to camp, and I will make that stone pickaxe. Okay, my latest guy just arrived, so I'm going to assign him to the barracks as well. Uh, there he is right here. We'll assign him. We'll give him a task. I'm going to kind of do reverse order this time, I think. We're going to do... This one, confirm. to adjust his schedule. Hello? You're going to be on the night crew. So I'm going to load guards. Confirm. There we go. So he works at night, takes a couple hours break, and then patrols during the, during the or sleeps during the, the day, rather. Alright, so, yes. You need a club. There you go. All right. Now we need to call another guard. <laughs> go. We got another guard coming. I'm going to put her in that tower, I think. It's 1.05 a.m. We have three guards on now, I believe. Oh, let's let's pin this. 
Wooden favors me for pinning a recipe. I believe that is for my worker to be able to... He'll work on that first. And then he'll work on the other things. So. Alright. What else do we need to do? Let's see here. I would love to build a farm. But it is summertime. And I, I think that the best time to have a farm is in the springtime. So we might put that off until spring. Uh, let's see here. What can we make? Oh, I do need to build another stone pickaxe. We'll do that here in just a second. Uh, fisherman's hut. Yeah, we need to get a fisherman's hut going too. I... I I came in here to see what they had in here, but I just saw this. It says Weaver. Dire Carpenter. Oh, look at that. Must build a metal worker. <gasps> Where's metal worker? Oh, oh. Must build Bloomery. Oh. So we start with a workshop. And then we turn it into a specialty workshop. Okay. That makes a lot of sense, actually. What are you guys doing? Hi. Uh, you have a two-handed weapon, don't you? I could have swore I gave you a two-handed weapon. But apparently that is just a single weapon. doesn't tell me if it's two-handed or not. How about I give you a club? Will that make you happy? There you go. And I'm going to put you in this hut down here as well. I forgot to give him a house. All right, there we go. So, we need to build a bloomery. Now, I was planning on having a path, too, and I was playing around with paths. Paths are hard, I would say. <laughs> here, here we go. Here, here's a path that I was making. And apparently the villagers will use these paths... Um, but I was having a very hard time with it. Before I get too further, though, I need to get over here and actually build my pickaxe. And that way I can harvest some more Uten blood. If I need sticks, and that's it. Uh, he's in there practicing. Nice. All right. We're going to take a bunch of sticks here. Put them in here. You don't need to do this. Um, but I am. Just because my... Lumberjack, he'll pick up more sticks that way. He won't pick up sticks and put them in here. He'll put them in that hut. Okay, so I need that. We'll craft that. Perfect. And can I make more of these? Yes, I can. Alright. Now we'll put them on this wall. There we go. Now I have my big pickaxe. So, what I was saying about the paths is I kind of want a path that goes down to the water. The water is just down there. So, where I build the bloomery, I don't want to interrupt that. So, and I was planning on putting the carpenter shop, like, right here, right where Aska is standing. So, let us come down here. I'm guessing the coal is going to work with the bloomery. The bloomery, I believe, is like a blacksmith shop. 
Um, so we'll... How about we do this? We're going to cut down this tree. We're going to remove this tree stump. Cut up this young fir. Pluck the bark. Pluck the resin. Pluck the sticks. Pick up a long stick. We'll run it over here. I think this thing needs a long stick. It didn't, but that's okay. I supplied it anyway. Alright, so let's build the bloomery right up against this, uh... Well, let's put it right, actually right here. On this side. We'll cut down this tree. Try to pick up all the resources. Oh, mushrooms. Try to pick up all the resources that we can before building. Okay, so if we build a bloomery... Can we build a bloomery? I don't even know. Uh, yes, we can. Alright, cool. Looks like it's more open like this. There we go. We'll level this off really quick for our worker. Workers are really slow at doing this, so I kind of prefer to do it myself. And then I can also supply it with what I have in my inventory to help Floki, my builder, uh, get kind of a head start on it. Then they're just all whacking away at it. Let's see. We're going to add some fuel to it. To this torch. We'll light it up. I don't know why Floki didn't light up all these torches. Maybe he ran out of fuel. I placed these torches around. Uh, I discovered that it keeps away the smokers. The smokers are kind of those rat-like bunnies. And I also discovered a great way of hunting them. It's kind of funny, actually. Let's see. We'll add some fuel. Oh, we just got our next person. She is going to need some supplies as well. Those are feathers. We're going to need those feathers actually right now. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to bring anybody else in until we get more beds. Because now we are actually, I think, out of beds. I think that last girl, she's going to be homeless. So we are going to give her a bow and arrow. Let's see. Can we make a good bow? Simple. I would like to make this bow, but we need the wooden shaft yet. We need a, a carpenter for that. So we can make a simple bow. We cannot make a simple bow. We need bone fragments and sticks. Let's open up this. We'll put the feathers in there. We have resin. I also discovered... <laughs> there's lots of things I discovered. If you come into your inventory, you have bark uh, and thatch. If you hold shift and just click, it turns it into fibers very quickly and easily. There's another piece of bark. There we go. And now we have fibers. So we can make rope quickly that way instead of doing it one at a time like I was doing before. All right. So we need sticks. We'll come back here. Take the sticks. We'll put it in here. So... We need bone fragments. We also need to dump off our food. We're going to eat some of that food first. Not much. We don't want to eat mushrooms raw. We need to cook those. Let's see what else we have to eat. That looks to be about it. That's alright. Alright. So tea... 
Throw the carrots in there. The mushrooms in that one. Ooh. He was collecting fibers for us. That's great. It's been a while since I checked on my gatherer. We needed to go dump some of the stuff off really quick. I do have warehouse storage for some of that, but I use a lot of it here at the workbench. So we'll come down here and do it. I haven't had smokers in a while either. I'm not complaining. But I found a really great way of hunting them, like I was mentioning before. You can actually pick them up. <laughs> if you pick up a smoker, you can carry them. They don't fight or anything like that. At least not that I've seen. And, uh... Oh, come on. I want this one. There we go. It's quite fun. <laughs> I had to turn it back on. My hunt. I picked up this uh, creature that was running from my hunter... And my hunter is, like, shooting at him, was shooting at him, with, uh, with his bow. I think he might have ran out of arrows or something. I'm gonna take this guy back. He just, like, ran right into me, and I just, like, in, I just picked him up. <laughs> Let's take him back. We're gonna try and trap him. And we're gonna bludgeon him. There we go. Get my club out. See, I'm thinking the best spot to do this would be in this little ring. Well, let's put him in here. Yeah. All right. There we go. We'll get them harvested up here. I'm going to leave this rope for my builder. I'll give that to my builder so he has plenty of rope to build with. I put some in there. I can make rope. He, for some reason, cannot make rope. Material storage. We're going to take more of these feathers. I don't want the feathers taking up space in here. There we go. Oh, bone fragments. We need bone fragments, too. We can get those here at the hunter's hut. I'm hoping. No. Uh-oh. We might be out of bone fragments. Let's see. Do I have any in here? No, I don't. Okay. Well. Oh, my cart is almost done. Nice. So I'm guessing I put things in here. Like so. <laughs> nice. And then I can move more material that way. Cool. Can I assign this to a worker, or will a worker just use it? I don't know. We'll find out. Alright. Need more sticks. What happened to all my sticks? Did I put a bunch of sticks in there? Could have swore I did. Oh, I bet you that worker came and took them all to build with. Ugh. It's alright. So I need more sticks. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. We're gonna build here that bow. And these, we need more sticks. Got lots of firewood in here. All right, we survived day six. Yo, are you gonna? Is that all you're gonna do? You need to go on patrol, dude. 
Let's see here. Let me check your your stuff here. Yeah, what happened? Who are you again? You're Yoakum? Yeah, manage workers. Okay. Add task. Okay. It, it already exists, so apparently I can't do it. make a bunch of arrows for my new watch person. She's going to be on night shift as well. I will assign her over here to this tower. Go. Now she should come to me and say I need a bow and arrows. is homeless. Did that did these beds get bit made? No. Not yet anyway. I don't remember exactly who she is anyway. She'll she'll come to me and find me before too long, I'm sure. So we need to build the bloomery. We need to build a bunch of stuff here. We need to go check out that cave, whatever that cave is. We don't have any more beds. I think that all the beds are taken at this point. Yeah, that's my archer and nighttime archer. She roams from the archery range at night around the, the circuit. So, I believe. Just looking for arrows. All right. Okay, okay, so the bloomery was just finished. Yay. Um, I don't know what to do. Open the bloomery. When you can put some coal in there, that's great. Iron ore. Where do we find iron ore? We have lots of coal here. I made a big thing of coal already. Pretty sure I can just take it, right? I just take one. Oh, that's all I can hold. Okay. Here it's clear. Okay. We just need to build that, and then we can build other things, I believe. Metal worker. Build. Oh! It's not an add-on. It is its own building. Perfect. Okay, cool. I thought it. Uh, uh, I thought it was gonna be it's it's uh, an add-on. We just gotta. I mean, we'd have to build, you know, several of those things. Um, is that the case? Because I can't seem to place it anywhere. Okay, let's exit out. Go back into there. Hi. Where was that? It's not in the menu. It's in here. Metal worker. Refine and produces iron parts. Build. Oh. Oh, it wants to build off to the side. 
It was like attached to it for a second. How'd that go? There, like that. It can't do it there because probably a wha uh, sled is there. Let's move the sled out of the way. See if we can do it again. There we go. I build or build on that for a little bit. Makes me a little concerned that I built a little bit close. We'll see what it looks like if it's going to connect to this side, whatever side we put here. We might have to build another workshop like this for future expansion. What does this need? This needs big stone and little stone. So in his stonecutter's shop is actually full. So, yeah. Hi. Let's get all the stones and he can go back to work. Loki, what are you doing? Just dropping stuff? Huh, okay. I'll take all the rope then. I'll take your resin too. Hi. I don't know why Floki, my builder, decided to drop all the rope I gave him. That's weird. There we go. We have a woodworker. Or a, a blacksmith shop. Guessing we don't have everything to make it work. Outfit rack, bloom storage, coal storage, iron produce stock. Okay. I'm gonna sign a worker. It says we can have some coal storage though. So we'll grab some coal. Full storage. All right. I'm wondering if that cave got built. Wondering too if any of these beds got built so I can bring in more people. Not yet. I don't know what the holdup is. Let's run to the cave. I see my worker way over here. He might be over here building it. That'd be awesome. I'm kind of curious as to what it is. And not not knowing. I, I'm, I'm worried that it's something bad. <laughs> Hopefully he's not carrying that big stone all the way out here. He probably is. Yep, he is. That's alright. Send my hunter out here. Hey, look at this. Alright, I'm gonna cut down some. Oh, check this out. Alright. So, get these smokers. Check this out. If you crouch down, I'm gonna hold the control key and I can crouch. They get like curious and they'll come over to you. This is so awesome. I'm going to equip my big axe. Uh, I'm going to equip my club. I accidentally took a drink of water. Okay, so here comes the smoker. Crouch down. They get curious. And you can run up to them and grab them. Grab them. And pick them up. 
and then you can like put them in a pen or like block them up against a wall. Let's see here. We'll put put them down. And I'm gonna start beating them with my mallet. Ah, uh, see, he took off running. But you don't have to chase after them. You can like pick them up and put them where you need, and then just bludgeon them to death, and it, it works very well. All right, let's cut down a tree because we we need the resources here. So in all honesty, this is actually really confusing to me. Uh, while I love this game, this game is freaking awesome. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to me because this is a cave, and a cave is a natural hole, right? So I, I don't understand how we have to build a cave in a solid rock. Now, if they had like a hole there you just couldn't enter, and you had to build this, that's that's something different, right? So, I don't, I don't know. I It kind of drives me a little nuts, not going to lie. But, I don't really know what it is either. So, it, this could be really bad. I could be... I don't think so. I don't think that I'm building my way to my death. Well, let's collect this Uten blood. Of course, my inventory is now full. Let's see what I have in my inventory. Oh, I got a bunch of stones still in there. Oops. Bunch of rope. We're going to drop a bunch of these stones here. There we go. And pick up this Uten blood. Pick up this stone. Hopefully this is all we need. Build it. Alright, yeah, so now it's... How do I get people to, like, join me <laughs> with, like, swords? <laughs> um, Alright, well, let's go. Let's go inside here and see. See what's in here. It's gotta be something, right? Whoa, it's getting dark. Uh... Cave wall is red. And we need pickaxes to get it. And I don't apparently have a pickaxe. I have a, the stone axe. Or not stone axe. A stone pickaxe, right? Is that what I have? Large stone pickaxe. Stone axe. I'm guessing I don't have the right one to get in there. It gets really dark. <laughs> like I need a torch or something too. Okay. That's alright. Pick up these stones right here. We'll head back to camp. Alright. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. You know, this game is one of those games, I've said it a million times, I could play this game for hours and hours and hours on end and lose all track of time. It is so much fun. And it looks like I have a lot, but there's really not a lot here yet. So, many hours already into this village, not a lot here. I have about nine people so far. And... Things are looking pretty good so far. I love the new customized game. Uh, new, new customized world. Really haven't run into many monsters. We've had one blood moon so far. And I was easily able to defeat them. And yeah, so thank you again so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful night. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.